Hello there and welcome back to a brand new video. Now, before we get into the contents of this video, you might see the lighting has changed. There's a little reflection behind me and I do apologize for that, but I'm trying to slowly improve the quality of content on this channel. And whilst it's not bringing in any money, it just means I've got to make these little changes where I can. So I hope you do enjoy that. Going forward, let me know what you think of it down in the comments. And the whole point of today's video is to go over my Minecraft display, which you might see just down there in the corner a little bit, is looking a bit different than it usually does. And I think I am going to take a different approach to what I mentioned in my last video. The whole world as a display will still look very similar with all the different aspects that I'm going to be putting on it. But rather than making it all one connected base plate, I think I'm going to take a leaf from the book, which is my Lego City display, and have each of the different corners modularized probably about eight different chunks in my Minecraft display. Well, technically, it's mine and my fiance's Minecraft display because we are both a big fan of the Minecraft sets. So most of these sets are hers, and she has allowed me to modify them to make the display look like one coherent world. So we will be looking at that in a second. First off, I have actually managed to sort all of the Minecraft bricks from all the different sets we've had. In fact, I'll put images on screen for you now. I originally had this Lego Minecraft giant head storage tub, which honestly is really, really cool, and now will be home to my minifigures. But originally it was full of a bunch of mixed Lego bricks, and I ended up sorting that into... I have a tray for my plates, which... This is what it looked like before, and this is what they all look like afterwards. I filled that tub up with all the different plates. They're the ones that I haven't used in the Minecraft display already, at least. And then I have two other salting trays, which I filled with a bunch of Minecraft bricks and actually freed up a row of the drawer units just behind me to house them whilst we are still working on the display. So this will be an ongoing project. I'll probably give it another month before I make another update, but hopefully by doing monthly update videos, I can show you all the little bits I've got done within the month because I've actually got a solid plan for the Minecraft display already. So we'll head over there in a minute. Before we do start, I'd just like to point out I've got a few comments about my background looking like a green screen and it isn't a green screen. As you can see, I can open the drawers and interact with everything back here. So it is very much my background, but I'm happy it looks good enough to be a green screen. So if we head over to said Minecraft display, you can see that it's looking a bit more organized than it was before. I did get my fiance or my fiance offered to draw the thumbnail of my last video and it's a good representation of what this is going to look like with the different areas of the city. So as I said, it's going to be split into eight sections. We've got the axolotl house down here. Hopefully we can pick up this year's turtle house because that looks really cool and we make a great addition to sort of the top of the beach. You can see that there's a bunch of underwater creatures. We do have our first minifigure swimming with a dolphin down here. This sort of dive in character and there's actually 10 minifigures across the eight sections. So we'll get to that in a bit. But over here, it's going to be a slope up to a beach. So the beach is going to be sitting about yay high with something covering the background. And I think that'd be really cool to have a turtle house. And then again, we've got the fox, which will be sitting up with it. And that will lead along to the pillagers watch tower, which as you can see, we've got the one pillager there. We might get a few more dependent on what the tower looks like with just the one. Of course, it's not going to be a massive pillager outpost. It will probably just be a facade of it built up with a few bricks width. But in front of the fox, we're going to have this little cave bit. We've got Steve and Alex here also, which I might build a little house for them. But it's going to be mostly centered around this giant cave or some sort of chasm or ravine built into the block and that'll be leading up to the fox then we've got a little free area down here a lot of flowers will be put here we've of course got the sheep pen we've got the chicken pen next door that's sort of a part of the other block but we're also going to have a post for the wandering villager i'm going to update the one from the clay lego set because personally i don't think it's the best and we've got another minifigure there now Right in the back right corner, you can see the pandas. We're going to have a little jungle theme. I might just bleed it in so there'll be at least one or two of the bigger trees. But that'll also help it fade into the oak forest that we've got here. 
you can see the oak tree from the diorama i created a bunch of bees and fittingly the bee minifigure with the electra wings which i only recently found out some bugs actually have these sort of wings called electra on one of the nature documentaries i was watching so that is a fun fact if you didn't know and of course that will be part of this front block which is a village i've built a small farm into the corner of it instead of the tree the tree didn't fit where it was i had to slim this down by two bricks to get it fit in roughly a quarter of the width of this section but i do think it looks really cool kept the house kept the hay bales and of course there's a few bees dotted around so i think this is really coming together as you can see for the both the axolotl and the fox i've basically kept the sets as they were the axolotl I filled out a bit of the front of and got rid of the buried chest but I might add that somewhere up the slope to the turtle because that is a really cool play feature and it'd be great to get similar features for the actual little house in fact you can still pop off the top of the house and see into the room which you've still got everything that was there with the set because I really do like these houses and Perhaps with the exclusion of the parrot for the jungle, which I am going to be completely rebuilding, I would like to keep them as Lego have their sets because otherwise I'd have to recreate them to Minecraft block height. And as you can see, they're only about 80% of the height when they're actually the proper width of the Minecraft bricks. And I've just noticed through this camera that the fox is missing a brick for the ear. So I will get that sorted afterwards. If we go across to the city display, you can see the bicycle still has no people so perhaps i'll do that afterwards and whack up a quick clip or an image of them both as that's something i definitely need to sort out and just for now we've got this businessman with his bulldog who is perhaps riding his bike to work and bringing his dog to work for some special event they've got going on and the fox also has a fixed ear it really started bugging me as i continued recording so i went back fixed it up and now we can get to the rest of it but likewise with the axolotl the fox's head does also pop open to reveal the interior i'm not quite sure if this oh it looks like this side does sort of pop off i think we have actually modified this just a little bit to get it all flush with the rest of the fox design but if we haven't that is very odd for lego to have allowed this side to pop off and not for the rest you can see in front of the fox there are some misplaced never creatures with the blaze, the ghast and a few of the other little ones. I'm hoping to hide a little nether scene underneath the fox. Again, it's not something that will be seen, so it's something that I'll be working on towards the end of the display. But if we can hide a little nether scene underneath the fox, I think that'll be really cool. Perhaps even get a little nether portal into the cave just in front so we can look through and at least see the blaze. But I think this is going to come together pretty quick again as i said every month i'll do an update or so so if i can start working on perhaps one block a month like i've done down here where i've got the village diorama i guess i need to beef out the back of it a little bit more because that's about a third of the depth of the unit so if i add a strip for the chicken coop and for the bee tree just add a few different tiles around i'm not really planning on tiling out the whole thing as you can see with the underwater scene i'm probably going to keep that as that and just keep the plates out so it might be a bit more than eight sections i might have a bonus section ramping up after the axolotl and this will all be underwater hopefully at some point i can get some of the giant trans blue panels and just place them across have them held up at this side by something and probably even put a few things like this little toad or frog on top of them because that would be really cool could even have a few different swimming mobs at the top and we do have a whole bunch of alex's and steve's so i'm not really sure how we're going to make use of i'm a big fan of these custom characters because not only are they characters now represented in lego form and i'm not quite sure how lego chooses them i know some of them are up for a vote but they are really cool designs. Perhaps I can mix and match a few of their parts with an Alex or Steve to create some brand new characters. But as you can see, I have half a drawer of Alex and Steve's and a whole bunch of accessories out the back. And as I was saying with the spare bricks, 
any of the non bricks so the bricks are in a different pile but any of these sort of accessories and jumper plates and tiles and different leaf pieces have all been divided into these six drawers so as you can see we've got a bunch of jumper plates to work with and that's not even including my own ones which are all the way up here on the left you can see I've got a bunch more especially in that dark tan there are so many that I can use to help flush out the Minecraft world and this is no way near enough to flush out the whole thing so I think I'll keep the village and perhaps add most of the green ones for the flowers the cave could look really cool with all these grey and dark grey pieces but for the most part there is going to be a bunch of studs I don't know if I'll ever tackle that and end up going back and flushing out the rest of the build but for now I'm going to keep a few of the studs showing and as you can see this is the giant pile of bricks I've got a few images that I'll flash on screen just so you can get a better look at just how many bricks there were but originally I started dividing this into the two by twos just down there I think it was two by fours at the back the bigger bricks in the middle we even have a section for plates just down here and one by bricks at the front and there just wasn't enough room for all of these bricks to fit together so I ended up just piling them on piling them on and I really need to go through this sort them out and probably whack them into ziplock bags or something but there's an update to my brick storage just general brick storage for Lego and hopefully I can get that out within a month or so because it's going to be a complete game changer and also didn't cost all that much so if you are looking at storing your lego on a budget even on a pretty tight budget it's a very very cheap way of storing them and just makes it so much easier it honestly is one of the best ways to store bricks but that is a future video for now i hope you enjoyed this lego minecraft update again the big change for this is just me putting the diorama in there and laying out the sets as they are but I do think the village is finished if you haven't seen my Lego Minecraft village diorama definitely check it out I'll probably tag it in the end screen alongside my giant Star Wars mock which is taking up 48 by 48 studs so you never know perhaps I'll get to building a giant Minecraft mock at some point but I think for now I focus on doing the village and finishing up the world and adding all the other bits I need to. The axolotls looking pretty packed with all the sea creatures so I might disperse a few of them back onto the little rise that I'll build at some point. That'll take up a bunch of tan bricks but I hope that'll look very very cool and likewise not much I can do to the fox until I've started the cave system which honestly I don't think I'll be starting next. I think I'll just continue bleeding from over here my next one will be the chicken and tree hopefully that will be done by the next update and there'll be a few more flowers around the front here so stay tuned be sure to subscribe for more awesome lego content not only do we have the minecraft world we have the lego city the star wars giant mock display and also the harry potter display just above this one but i hope you do enjoy and as always may the bricks be with you <laughs>